Boy, do we have some fun stuff here today. So as you can see, I've got a slew of cameras. We're gonna have four different angles here on this unit. We're gonna go through the startup sequence of the Micro Air Easy Start. So all of you can see how it does its startup process. So we've got one camera up here on the top um, that uh, is gonna look down into the condenser unit here. So you can see uh, the fan start spinning. And then over here, uh, we've got uh, this camera, which is uh, trained on the Micro Air Easy Start. That way you can kind of hear uh, its clicks and uh, noises and what have you it makes. And I've got another camera down here, trained on my amp meter that uh, will capture the inrush as it starts up. And I'm going to uh, hold this camera that I'm using now on our contactor right here so you can see that pull in. So we'll go in, go from the moment the contactor pulls in all the way until the compressor is up and running. So let's uh, get into that right now. Inside the Micro Air Easy Start, we've got uh, some lights, some status lights, uh, and uh, we've got power and normal operation. I might uh, take do it one more time here so we can uh, film from this angle and see the lights. There you have it, uh, the full startup sequence. It's sure been awesome to have. It's made a tremendous difference in me being able to run this uh, unit uh, off generator power. And uh, I think it just helps with some wear and tear on that uh, compressor, you know, being able to reduce that startup amperage down to just 23.3 is awesome. So anyway, uh, I'll leave a link uh, down in the description to a playlist with a bunch of other uh, videos about this and I'll leave uh, a link up in the top right hand corner uh, to the first video I did about this that uh, shows the learning process of the whole uh, Micro Air Easy Start and uh, how it will slowly reduce the, the inrush amperage and how it was able to learn that. And if you like these kinds of videos, please uh, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next time.